Okay, I'm going to try something different today. I'm, uh, I'm using this OBS Studio. It's an uh, open uh, source, uh, open broadcaster software. It can be used for uh, 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 streaming uh, on the fly, kind of like being a broadcaster. You can switch scenes and stuff like that. Now, I won't be doing that stuff. I'll actually be doing the... Uh, um, recording directly but I'm going to be using this so I can record the screen and someday maybe even get a camera that works with this and uh, you know be able to integrate it directly so today uh, it's uh, we're going to try and get the uh, car to move so here's here's the PDF with um, the breakdown on, on okay we have an uno board that's the uh, microcontroller and then we have a controller for our motor driver board for the actual motors so the UNO talks to the board and then that controls the motor motors <coughs> now you pretty much don't have to worry about these things here because the connectors are, are you can only put them in one way as long as you have the right kind connector in the right thing so um, let's see uh, so it looks like this is how it communicates to do the uh, stop, break, forward, back. I don't know what barking is. Not sure. I don't know if it barks. I didn't see a speaker, but anyway. Um, so what I've done already is I've installed the Arduino that came with this because I didn't want to. I wanted to make sure I had one that was uh, comparable or actually used the the code that they had. So, and I also okay so. I also went through and uh, granted myself permission to actually write to the com. And, uh, so um, let's open up the uh, Arduino. Here's the Arduino uh, IDE. This is where you write the code for Arduino. Uh, we can check here that this is assigned to an Arduino Genuine Uno, which is fine because that's basically what it is. It's not a Genuine Uno, but it's, it's, it's what it's doing. And we just have a TTS01, but that's not not the uh, um, Uno. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the uh, uh, board now. And now if we check it, we should find that we have the dev slash ttyacm0. So now it's pointing at the correct board. We have really no code doing it. This is the basic code for an Arduino uh, program. It's written in something akin to C. It's very C-ish. It is not C because it's not that uh, doesn't meet all the requirements of the language. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, come back to this PDF. It says code as follows, and I'm just going to copy this. So, I'm just going to see if I can grab it. And uh, it's going to move. Let me try it from the bottom up. Oops. There we go. No, some reason I can I can do this upwards, but I can't do it downwards. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Jump back here. Control V. Bam. We've got data. So go ahead and save as, and we'll do this as the smart car robot. One. Okay, so that's saved. Now, what we can do, what I usually do when I'm writing code for Arduino and size is I'll, I'll go ahead and verify and compile. That way I don't want to be in the middle of the upload and say, oh, it's not going to work. So, verified it. We're not using too much um, memory. Let me move this little wire so you can see it. It tells you how much, how much memory you're, you're using and how much you're available so that's cool so if we look at the code it's got some setups for its um 
constants, I guess we'll call them that. Basically, you're assigning these variables outside. Um, and it does a setup where it says this is going to be an output, 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 and then enable high. Oh, for the digital. <coughs> and then there'll be this loop that switches these on and off, and then it waits 500 milliseconds, would be half a second. And then it does, then it stops. And then delays another half second. It moves, moves it backwards. So it's actually flipping quite backwards now. Stop, wait a half second, and then it loops again. So at this point, we can go ahead and upload it. And I'll upload it, and you'll see it's got to use this one. It's been uploaded to the car, but the car's not doing anything right now because I didn't turn it on yet. So let's go ahead and There we go. Yeah, you can see in here it's uh, moving forward, and the only the right wheel is moving. Right wheels are moving forward and backwards. Um, I have it propped up on a box just so it doesn't go taken off. But that's uh, we got it working. So I'll, I'll probably uh, work through the different uh, pieces, parts of it, and in the meantime, I shut this off. And uh, I'll work my way through these things. One of, one of my intentions to do is to take another device, hook it up to it, and have it control um, the uh, unit instead of the Arduino. It'll probably be a Wi-Fi enabled one. But it, it does, this, I'm going to play with the uh, stuff that it comes with. Maybe I'll take some videos of that uh, when it's uh, working. So, But for now, that's... Uh, Pretty much it. Also, I'm going to try something like uh, noise reduction, um, editing, and stuff like that today. So we'll see what I can do with that. So that should be it for today. Um, catch you later. Bye.